Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. Some claim that Niagara Falls has a mystical appeal that compels some visitors to dive in and disappear into the churning water. According to officials, they rescue 20 people who decided to end their lives near Niagara Falls on average each year. However, some people decide to jump down Niagara Falls for adventure rather than to commit suicide. Not a well-known performer or daredevil, but a widowed teacher by the name of Annie Edson Taylor was the first to ride over the falls and survive to tell the tale. Taylor was having financial difficulties when she thought of the ideal attention getting stunt, she would ride a barrel over Niagara Falls. She tested it by tossing a stuffed cat inside an oaken barrel with a clumsily padded inside over the falls. On October 24, 1901, Taylor's 63rd birthday, she crawled inside the barrel and was led adrift from a rowboat upstream. The traumatized cat survived the fall. She was found at the base of the falls less than 20 minutes later, bleeding from the head but otherwise unharmed. In retrospect, she said, if it were with my dying breath, I would caution anyone against attempting the feat. I would sooner walk up to the mouth of a cannon, knowing it was going to blow me to pieces than make another trip over the fall. Bobby Leach became the first man to survive the falls in a custom metal barrel 10 years after Taylor's groundbreaking drop, breaking both of his kneecaps and his jaw in the process. Before stumbling on an orange peel and passing away in 1926, Leach was able to leverage his status as the first man to go over Niagara Falls into a lucrative touring career. Charles Stevens, an English barber, became the first person to perish while attempting to cross the falls in a barrel in 1920 when the anvil he had packed as ballast broke through the barrel's bottom, taking him with it. In its safety harness, only his right arm was ever found. Instead of utilizing a barrel, Canadian-American adventurer Jean Lussier in 1928 developed a six-foot rubber and steel ball that he later marketed to visitors as individual pieces. George Estethakis, a Greek immigrant, made the decision to take a barrel down the falls in 1930 in an effort to generate money for the publication of his metaphysical books. He built a massive, 10-foot-tall barrel that weighed almost a ton and was undoubtedly indestructible. Stathakis brought his more than 100-year-old pet turtle Sonny Boy with him on the day of his jump to serve as both a good luck charm and a storyteller in case he didn't survive. The enormous barrel survived the fall, but it took 18 hours for rescuers to free it from a watery barrier at the base of the falls. Stathakis was suffocating when the barrel was eventually unlocked. The turtle Sonny Boy made it through. Between 1850 and 2011, an estimated 5,000 bodies were discovered at the base of the falls, and an estimated 40 persons are washed over the falls each year, most of whom are suicides. According to other statistics, there are between 20 and 30 suicides each year, many of which go unreported by the government. Between 55% and 70% of suicides occur at the Canadian Falls, where the majority of jumps take place. Approximately 25% of daredevil attempts over the falls end in death. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment.
thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.